Hi everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we are in week 10 of our Google Sunday School Classroom. And this week's theme is God Hates Our Sin. And our scripture this week comes from Genesis 39, verses 6 through 12. Do you remember what book of the Bible Genesis is? Yep, it's the first book of the Bible. So, we're reading Genesis 39, verses 6 through 12. So, I'll begin. So, Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care, went with Joseph in charge. He did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. Now, Joseph was well-built and handsome, and after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, Come to bed with me. But he refused. With me in charge, he told her, my master does not concern myself with anything in the house. Everything he owns, he has entrusted to my care. No one is greater in this house than I am. My master has withheld nothing from me except you, because you are his wife. He then, <clears throat> How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? And though he spoke to Joseph day after day, he refused to go to her bed with her or even be with her. One day he went into the house to attend to his duties, and none of the household servants were inside. She caught him by his cloak and said, Come to bed with me. But he left his cloak in her hand and ran out of the house. Ran out. He knew it would be sinful, right, boys and girls? Yes, we don't sin. So, I wonder if maybe your grandma or your mom might have ever said this to you. It's not okay that we say we hate someone or something. When I was growing up, I was taught this for sure. But stop and think about this for a second. How many times do you and I say, I hate this or I hate that? Or even worse, I hate you. Maybe you said that you hated your brother or your sister or even your mom or dad. Unfortunately, it's pretty common thing to hear people say that they hate something or someone. But God really doesn't want us to hate things. He certainly doesn't want us to hate other people. Or ourselves. Instead, God commands us to love one another as he first loved you and I. But there's one thing in this world that God does tell us he hates. Our sin. Listen to what we heard in our Bible passage today. One more time. Let's listen one more time. My master trusts me with everything in his house. He has put me in charge of everything he owns. There's no one in his house greater than I. He has not kept anything from me except you. And that is because you are his wife. How can I do such an evil thing? It is a sin against God. Joseph was a man who loved God deeply. He tried his best to follow God every day. When Joseph was grown up, he went to work for a very rich and powerful man named Potiphar. Now this man Potiphar was very kind to Joseph, and he really trusted Joseph. So when he made Joseph the head of the household and gave Joseph some very, he gave him some very important jobs. One day Potiphar's wife tried to kiss Joseph. And she said that she had fallen in love with Joseph and that she didn't care that she was married to Potiphar. She really wanted to be with Joseph. But Joseph would not kiss Potiphar's wife. Instead, Joseph reminded her that Potiphar had been very kind to him. And she was Potiphar's wife, not his. If he kissed her, it would cause them both to sin. And guess what? God hates it when we sin. I want to be sure that you have understood what I just said. God hates our sin. God doesn't hate you or I. 
In fact, God could never hate us. He loves us so much that he cannot, has not, and will not ever hate us. We are his children, but he does hate the bad things we do. He does hate it when we don't listen to him and follow his will for us. I'll bet if you asked your mom or dad about this, they would agree. You are their child. They could never, ever hate you. They, they may not like all the things that you do sometimes. Maybe the choices that you make they may not like. But they will always love you. The same is true with God. He will always love you and always care for you. But he cannot and will not love it when you sin. It's a good that that was really good, right boys and girls? God doesn't like it when we sin, but he loves us no matter what. And I say this to you every week when we do our lesson and we're done with our lesson, I always say to you what? Yes. God loves you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. That will never change. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. I hope that you are doing your Bible verses and sending them in to me because you will be rewarded. And I hope you had a wonderful Easter. And um, I know I said that last time, but I feel like it just happened. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. And as always, I say to you, blessings to you all. I miss you. And until the next time, bye-bye.